Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper. Today we're going to gather some coal and head into Forlorn Muskeg. We need to craft a hatchet, a knife, and a few arrowheads, so let's get going and see what happens. So I just got in, and we're going to go ahead and have a look at like what we need to craft. I know that we need about, I think it's eight or nine scrap metal, and then we're going to be able to make a few arrowheads. Probably quite a few because we have 13 scrap metal, but right now I'm waiting for several things to cure up here. We have to wait for these maple saplings to cure so that we can make that bow. We have, I think, just enough of everything, unless it requires three guts. I think it only requires two. But as of right now, the weather is awful. There's a blizzard going on, and it's getting pretty late. So I'm going to figure out a way to waste the day away so that I can wake up tomorrow and hopefully we don't have a storm, because I'd really like to head into that, that mine heading to Mountain Town and try to gather a lot of coal. We need it. We only have five on us right now downstairs. So let's hope it's clear tomorrow. So let's eat a little bit of food and read a book for the rest of the day. Okay, we ended up getting three hours out of that book. So that book should be finished. That can be used to start fires. Let's see, can I read this one now? So you can read multiple books. Good news is I've survived 12 days. So let's hope we can go 12 more. Just got level two fire making pretty good. And we've woke up in the middle of the night. Like every other time. The sun's up and I can still hear the wind. I don't think it's a storm anymore. I just think that the wind's pretty messed up. Now let's go check out out of our storms and that is no thanks that is a massive storm i'm just gonna pass time i guess now that is a full-blown blizzard seems like we're gonna be shut in all day completely we'll just waste time all day and we'll heal back up in the morning okay we wake up and the weather seems okay at the moment so i'm just going to head out i am ready to get the heck out of here it is snowing pretty heavy and there's a lot of clouds covering the wind is good though so i don't really care i'm going to drop this stuff off at the end of the railroad and try to head into this cave the worst it can get is me running back because the wind blows my torch out i haven't had like, I've had two nice days in the 12 days I've survived, I'm pretty sure. After all this time, I forgot how bad the weather would be in the long dark. But it's just, it's unrelenting. I can't wait till I do a stalker playthrough because I'm actually going to have a better time. The ability to find really good clothing and to have guns is going to be the nicest shift. As soon as you find a rifle, wolves are cake. It's not even that cold out here and my character is above half temperature. Make a hot fire. It's so cold. Somebody commented on here and said that bodies disappeared due to glitches. And I didn't notice that until they told me. And then I thought about all the different bodies that I missed. I still want this uh, interloper playthrough to last a while, but... It kind of stinks knowing that I'm playing when there's a bunch of weird glitches. I can't wait for them to fix all them because I really like this game. And I plan on playing a lot more of it for this. It's not very relaxing to upload, but it's just a really rewarding game in general. It does stress me out. I feel like any survival game can be that way. Let's go ahead and drop our things here. Now. Let's drop all that. We'll be able to come back and get that. Let's head over here. I hope this mine actually has coal in it. Because if it doesn't, we might be a little bit, a little bit screwed. Pretty sure I'm getting really close now. Here's the cave entrance. There may not be coal in here like I thought there were. Okay, we're finding a few chunks of it. We can find coal in here. We have four so far. There's five. Ooh, here's a body. I have to remember where I came in from. I took a left. Looks like there's some coal at the end of this. So let's hurry up and grab this coal. And we're going to go ahead and leave and head into Forlorn Muskeg. We don't have much time. It's midday at the moment. I really want to have around like close to 20 coal whenever I go to forge. Uh, this wind is awful. I'm going to go to Trapper's Cabin and break some stuff down and spend the night inside of it. Seems like there's going to be another blizzard or something rolling in. Bang. One. There's some guts that we have now. Well, the other rabbit is completely gone. Who knows where he went off to? Yeah, let's break down a bunch of wood. Okay, what time is it? We're going to spend some time trying to craft some stuff together. There's a big storm. Awesome. Let's hope we can cook that tomorrow. Walking around with that will not be smart. We'll let them here, and it's pretty much time to go to sleep. Not really much else I can do. We have 19 reclaimed wood and 10 coal. We also have 31 sticks. Yeah, we woke up to an electrical storm. This looks so beyond beautiful. I wish it weren't super dangerous. And a nice blizzard came in. Fun. This is awful weather. Yeah, no thank you. Huh, it just keeps getting worse. This, this is nice. This is exactly what you want. I could not have asked for more perfect weather. Oh yeah, that's a good one, bud. Okay. We ended up getting a free torch lit with a magnifying lens. Now, let's go head out of here. I need to make it to Forlorn Muskeg as soon as possible. I'm going to be more overweight than I've ever been in this game. So I, I'm assuming I'm going to be trying to carry around like 40 pounds or 40 kilograms. Probably like 10 or 15 kilograms over what I should. I need a lot of this reclaimed wood to keep this fire going. It's pretty hard to sleep inside of a Forlorn Muskeg without having a fire going at the same time. I am really happy to have weather like this. 
It only took me two days to get it. Carrying 38 kilograms after I drop a lot of those useless torches. I think we're okay to make it. All right, the stress is starting to go up a little bit. Okay, let's see how much water we have. 0.69 liters. We really need to make some water. The wind is starting to pick up. Not good. Fire went out. Let's pick up our stuff and leave. We can't go through there without having a torch. Should have started the fire on this side. Going to have to start another one. Without having a flare and being as heavy as I am, there's no possibility that I could ever go through Forlorn. I'm not 100% sure what to do here. Looks like the wind stopped. Looks like a blizzard could come in, but I have to go. We have very little time to get through Forlorn Muskeg now. It is getting close to dark. Very foggy out. The wind does not start up again. We can make it to Homestead without having any issues. There's a wolf right ahead of us. Awesome. We are gaining heat in here right now since it's late. Alright, we can scare him off here. Let's keep moving. Hopefully we don't have to deal with too many more of those little- Alright, there's one more ahead of us. There's a lot of wolves inside Forlorn every time. I might actually walk around this side due to that wolf being that close. Somehow he saw me all that way that far. Wow. I really don't have any meat or anything on me. That's crazy. I'm thinking I'm actually going to cross the water itself tomorrow if it's not super foggy. That way I can gather a bunch of cattails. We're getting pretty low on them right now. We have 20, which isn't really bad, but that's, what, four nights of sleep? And it's probably gonna be a couple days until we can get our bow up and running. I'm actually gonna go over there and gather those cattails. Hey, okay. we got three cattail stalks. There's some more over there. Let's just head this way and gather our cattails. All right, now we have 31 cattail stalks. So we ended up finding 11. Temperature is going down. We need to stop and drink some water, but we're getting pretty close to the homestead. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to end up running into like four or five more wolves on the way. Okay, I think I just go right around that, and I should be there soon. There is a body up ahead. Nothing on him, but we got a couple feathers out of that. I'm pretty sure I can go around that. I'm pretty sure I remember you can climb this and go over by those trees to walk over this. So that's what we're going to do. That water will definitely put us in the water. Or the ice will put us in the water. I really hope you can climb up this, or I got a lot of walking to do. This doesn't look too steep. We're getting close. Cross that bridge and we're just about there. That is the best bridge to see. And I gather quite a few sticks on the way. We gotta get that temperature and that forge way up. I may actually sleep before I forge. I know they're like, a ton of wolves like to be around here, so let's hope we don't run into any. I'll search around them when I come back. It's not worth it for me to run around here. If that wind kicks off, we could be in some bad shape. We are getting really, really, really close. We probably gathered enough cattails on the way here to eat food while we forge, which is really awesome. Everything seems to be kind of going to plan. We got the old Spence homestead up ahead. There it is. There is our forge. Couldn't have came at a better time. There's a deer carcass over there. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that until I know that I can forge everything I need to forge. It takes several hours to forge. Hey, here's some matches. More scrap metal. Coal. Another hacksaw. Pretty good shape. Nothing in that locker. There's a book. Is there gonna be nothing in these drawers, really? Nothing. Wow. More coal. And a scrap metal. Nice, nice, nice. More coal. Okay, we need a lot of this. Antiseptic, you can stay. You are too heavy. Okay, let's gather the rest of this. We knew there was a lot of wood and things here, but it's kind of a just-in-case thing. You prepare for the absolute worst. I know there can be things down underneath, beside those crates. What am I doing? Oops. Anyhow, let's waste a match. Let's start the fire. I'm gonna eat a few of these cattails, and I'm gonna start getting this fire really warm up. So right now it's at 4 degrees. Okay, let's get this up. It's going to take us around 7 hours to get what we want and a couple hours more. So I am willing to add a bit of wood in here to sleep for a couple hours. And now I'm going to sleep for 2. Okay, we got our tiredness gone. Pretty good there. Still, we have enough food. So let's get this up. Okay, we've gotten it over 80 degrees now. 100 degrees now. Looks like we're going to hit 120 pretty easily here. And we've hit... Close to the 150 mark. We need one more. Now we're over 150 degrees. So let's make our hatchet first. Let's make sure we don't have water. And let's eat a few of these cattails. Now nah, let's get going. Oh, 
Boom. There's one hatchet. Seven hours left on the fire. Let's make an improvised knife. Okay, I just got an achievement on Steam. Let's drink some water. We're gonna eat a couple cat's hails and make some arrowheads now. We're actually gonna eat these pinnacle peaches because they're getting low. Let's see, we have five hours in this. If we make six arrowheads, that's three hours. We can make 12 with six hours. Let's just make 10 arrowheads. Now let's add a few hours of coal and we're gonna go to sleep. Now let's grab us some torches and get on our way. Here's what we were trying to get to. Let's open this safe up. A book. We opened that up for a book. And here's the food I was thinking about, dog food. Oh, lucky day. Decent shape. Thank you. That's in pretty low shape. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and eat it. I don't think the wind is bad enough to knock our torch out. Let's go check. Doesn't seem like it. Let's go over here. We may be able to see if that uh, deer has any meat on it. And check out that house and see if it has any more coal. We might have to stay the night here and burn some and burn some stuff to keep the place warm. I don't see any wolves, so we should be fine in the, the event of anything, though. I really hope this has some meat on it. It has a little bit. I'm willing to sit in the cold for 30 minutes. I won't die. Now, let's get out of here. There we go. Get some heat back. We really need to make water. Wow. We are almost completely out. Let's prep some rose... Or some birch bark. We can definitely use that to sleep. Okay, we woke up and the weather is about night and day difference better. We are going to make one more thing of water so that we can cook some tea to keep a warmth bonus. Okay, I'm pretty sure the weather should be good enough for us to just kind of move out. Now, if I get cold, I can easily just start a fire... That we have a torch and it's going to be a sunny day, so I could just use a magnifying lens. It's like the perfect day just to get out of here. Hope that the weather stays good enough to, for me to travel all the way to Mystery Lake now. Okay, let's see if we can find anything over here really fast. Uh, nothing, we need to get going. Temperature's at about half, although I will gather these reshi mushrooms. This is just a decent amount of food for later. Could always use tea. Oh, I just wasted a fucking match. I just wasted a match. I'm gonna have to play a lot more. Pay a lot more attention. I think after I ended up forging that stuff, I got really comfortable for a second. So and then I'm just kind of playing haphazardly. Let's keep our guard up, up and so let's keep paying attention when we try to light our when we try to light our torches and everything. Can't go around wasting a lot of things anymore. I shouldn't have been the whole time. We're starting to get pretty cold now. We have two guts on us, so wolves will smell us from about uh, 80 miles away. That's what it's gonna feel like. I'm going to travel a bit longer with the cold and start a fire probably up over this ridge. This is one of the few times that you see Forlorn Musk Egg all the way across. A nice day, pretty much. Okay, let's get over here and start this fire. It really sucks knowing I only have a windbreaker and a hoodie. It's the only thing I have on my upper body, so I get cold super easily. Really fun. There we go, we're finally warm enough. Let's see if I can wait this wind out. Okay, let's go ahead and get really foggy, but the wind is gone. Now we can travel. We're only losing two temperature. And it should be getting in later in the day. We might not lose temperature by the end of the day. If this fog goes away, that would be even better. I don't like the fog because I can't see what's going on in the sky, so I have no clue what the temperatures or what the weather is going to be like at all. It seems like snow is falling. That is not good. I hope that's not snow. No, it's my torch. This stuff's pretty unimportant compared to others. If you play smart and don't get hit by an animal, but... May as well grab it because I think we only have one. Don't want to get cut up and get an infection. I think that's actually a decent cave. I wish I would have known where that was at. I could have went in there earlier. At least I'll know where it's at in case something goes really bad. I headed. I accidentally went too far inland. Shoot. Let's head back out this way. Forgot where I was at. You're not getting weak. We have really good health. I'm never playing as the female character again. I always thought Will's grunting was loud and annoying, but this woman complains. Unlike anyone I've ever heard. I hope we can get back to Mystery Lake in one piece. I'm pretty sure when we get back to Mystery Lake, we'll be able to craft our bow and probably a pair of rabbit gloves after we hunt a couple more rabbits. I think we have enough rabbit skin. The issue is the guts. With these two guts, I think that it might give us enough. That wind sounds like it wants to pick up on me now. Oh, we ended up attracting an annoying wolf. Get over here, hurry up. You don't have much time. Such an annoyance. Let's hope he goes way back there. We have about a third of our heat, and the fog is super bad now. I can see, what, maybe 20 feet ahead of me? The wind is not my friend. The fog is not my friend. And the sun is never out. Okay, let's keep moving. We ended up getting quite a bit of heat back. Now we're only losing one heat. <sighs> okay. About a quarter of it gone. I wish I remembered... Oh, boy. 
think this is kind of close to where Mystery Lake's entrance is at. Just kind of around in this. Oh, guys. Wolf. Oh, here's the railroad line. We've made it. We've made it. That was a long, long journey. Now let's get to the camp office. Okay, I'm pretty confident that we're not going to get really bad temperatures. I'm thinking about going to Trapper's Cabin and grabbing the stuff that we left. There's already a wolf on us here. But that's kind of what I'm feeling. I want to go grab that rabbit stuff. If I end up grabbing this uh, extra rabbit pelt, I may have enough pelts and guts to make a pair of rabbit gloves and a bow. I'm going to craft arrow shafts as soon as we get to Mystery Lake Camp Office. I'm going to be able to craft so many arrow shafts. Yeah, why not run the way I'm going? Thank you. Thank you so much, Wolf. I don't know if we'll have enough daylight to make it back to Mystery Lake Camp Office today. I would like to. Because what did I do? I spent two days, probably, walking and being at Forlorn. Trapper's Cabin seems to have a load of deer. That'll be pretty good for us later on when we get this bow finished. I'm probably going to move to Milton. After I end up making a bow and some new gloves, I'm going to go to Pleasant Valley and search all that up. So that should be next episode or so that I'm going into Pleasant Valley. And I won't be sure if I'll stay there or if I'll go stay in Mountain Town. Kind of depends on how bad Mountain Town is with wolves, which is pretty much always the case with that map. That map is just covered in wolves every time. So that pelt's almost cured. We're going to go ahead and head out. We can make it back to Mystery Lake. Camp office in time today, I'm feeling it. The wolves will be really annoying now that we have two bars of scent up there. I hate traveling around without the backup of a flare. There's going to be like torches that line up all my paths. I can break down a lot of stuff for wood now with a hatchet. That's really good. I feel like the game, th the game doesn't really start until you get a hatchet and knife. That puts you in the perfect place in order to start making everything. Although I do really enjoy the lead up of getting the hatchet and the knife. It's really fun to go on a forge run. So many obstacles in your way, and it's so easy to die before you get them. Next interloper series I start, I'd like to spawn in Hushed River to really get that run down, or I'd like to spawn in Ash Canyon maybe. See if I can figure that map out. Just try to do some Ash Canyon runs until I can figure it out. That'd be really fun. I feel like Timberwolf Mountain and Pleasant Valley are the exact same thing. So I've done that quite a few times. Maybe I might try that sometime in the future. For now that the prison map, Blackrock, is really glitchy. After Blackrock gets fixed and the glitches get patched, I would like to go there. There's a lot of things I don't know about the areas that have Timberwolves. I know some people that play this game swear by getting wolves to attack deer. I've only done it once. I kind of want to learn how to do that. Maybe next time I start, I'm going to try to get a few deer that way at the beginning. I feel like I could learn a lot of those maps by starting on Stalker also, because you can choose where you spawn. So maybe that would be kind of fun to figure out how to do Ash Canyon on Stalker. Now let's travel down this railroad and get to this camp office. There is no place like home. Let me know what you think about me doing the story mission, like doing the whole story or doing the challenges. I'd really like to do the challenges and I think they'd be fun series. So let me know in the comments which ones you'd like to see. I think the Hunted and the Dark Walker or whatever it is, all those would be pretty fun. I've only completed, I think, one of them, and that was a long time ago. So I think it would be a really fun series to do all the challenges. I wouldn't, of course, do them, like, all in a row, and that's all I'd do. But it would be pretty fun to start one, and Faithful Cartographer, things like that. They all look pretty fun. I wouldn't mind trying them out. Let me know. The Hunted and the Hunted, uh, do look really fun, though. So I'd be really interested in trying those out, unless you guys would want to see something else. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, as much as I'm enjoying making them, uh, let me know by dropping a like or commenting, because that is really awesome, just having that kind of confirmation that people are enjoying this, so getting comments on this kind of thing and getting likes from people, just, it's really cool knowing that other people are enjoying me playing this. It's kind of a strange feeling, and I'd definitely like to do more if people are enjoying it. That trip to Forlorn Muskeg was pretty crazy and very enjoyable, and now we have made it. The fog is clearing, and here is Mystery Lake Camp Office, with our ruined Pinnacle Peaches in front, and our moldy granola bar. Let's go inside. Oh boy, does it feel good to be home. We have 10 arrowheads. Let's drop these fresh guts that we have. We, of course, have our beautiful hatchet and knife. And we have a fresh rabbit pelt. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video was cut a little short. The length of the footage I got was actually two hours long, a little bit over. But of course, through to all the storms and things like that that had happened and the travel time, I had to cut a lot of it out because it was just spaces of me not talking and just sleeping and eating and things like that. On the other hand, I appreciate you all watching this all the way through. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Next episode, we're going to be going to Pleasant Valley. There's some crazy stuff that happens on the way, including like the scariest moment I've ever had in the long dark by a mile. So until next time, I'll see you later.